Hey Wealthy Hustler, I'm going to show you how to make a fake proof CPA video just like this one. Now for this tutorial, we're going to need a phone, niche, Adobe After Effects, Adobe Photoshop, some files, and the ability to follow directions. So let's get started. If you'd like to see some more money making news, reviews, guides and motivation, go ahead and click that subscribe button and that bell notification so you don't miss anything. Alright, so the first step is to capture a video recording of the game we're trying to generate fake proof for. Now in order to do this, you need to go get your phone. Now that you're on your phone, you're going to need to download XRecorder. Now this is an Android only application, so if you have an iPhone, try to find a different recording app and figure out how to record with it. Once you've downloaded XRecorder, you need to open the app up. Once the app is open, you might have an annoying ad to look at. Click X and then grant the permissions the app asks for. Exit to the home screen and click the orange circle with the video camera icon on the edge. You can then click the red record button and then begin recording. Once you're recording, you're going to want to open up the desired app. In my case, it's going to be Clash Royale. When you're done recording, press the orange icon on the edge again and then press stop. Your video should now be created and all you need to do is just upload the video and download it to your computer. Now it's time to grab a screenshot of the application so we can use this to create our overlay for our video. To do this, simply load your game again and take a screenshot of where it shows the currency you're trying to generate fake proof for. And just like what we did with the video, you're going to upload the screenshot and download it to your computer. Cool, so now that we have our video and screenshot, we just need to find the correct font for our game we're generating fake proof for. Now I can't stress enough how important this step is, because if we don't get the correct font, our fake proof video just won't look legit. So to get the correct font for your video, just follow these steps. First, you want to go to apkpure.com. And then when you're here, you're going to search for the game that you're wanting to generate fake proof for. Once you've searched that, you're going to press read more and then you're going to press download APK. Now all we need to do is open up the APK file with WinRAR. Now if you don't have WinRAR, all you have to do is go to win-rar.com. Now once that's all downloaded and you have WinRAR, we're going to open that up. And then once you open it up, you want to press close on this and then drag the APK file onto the WinRAR window. Now, this will allow us to see all of the source files for the specific application. So if we click the assets folder and then we go to the font, well, now we have access to these TTF files, which are font files. So all we have to do is just double click the font and press install. And now our font is installed. Cool, so now we're ready to create an overlay of the game's interface. We need to do this because the overlay will be covering the actual interface with the gems in the fake proof CPA video. To get started, we need to open up Photoshop. Once you have Photoshop opened, you're going to go to File, Open, and then you're going to find your specific file for your screenshot. Now that our screenshot's open in Photoshop, we can now create our overlay. To start, all we need to do is click the magnifying glass on the left toolbar. And then we're gonna wanna zoom in until the interface we're trying to generate fake proof for is fully visible on our screen. Once we've zoomed in, we want to press the selection tool right here on the left toolbar. And then we want to make a selection on the background which is big enough to cover these numbers to the right. Once this is done, we can simply go to the move tool, which is on the left toolbar, and then we just press Ctrl J. Once that's done, just press shift and the right arrow until you completely cover the number. Now we want to merge all of these layers into one layer so we can select this and make this our overlay. To do this, just click the layer and then press shift and click the background. It will select all of the layers, then right click and press merge layers. 
Now that we have our layers all merged, we're now ready to select around the background. This is so we can create a duplicate layer and then we're gonna use this and call it our overlay. So in order to do that, you wanna press the pen tool, which is on the left toolbar of the screen. And then we're going to just select as good as we can around this interface right here. And we're not going to include the gem because it's just a little bit hard to align. Once you've got a brief selection of the background, you want to right click on the blue line and then you want to press make selection. Press OK. And then what this does is this creates our selection. Now all we need to do is press Ctrl J. Now we have two layers right here. We can delete the background layer and you'll see we're just left with this overlay right here. And you'll notice this is just a fraction of what the image file is. We want to make this completely what the image is. So to do that, you want to press the crop tool, which again is on the left toolbar. Once you've selected that, you're going to want to select right around the overlay we just copied. Then you want to make sure that all four corners are right at the border of the overlay. Now what's left to do is just save this file as an overlay.png file into just a folder that we've created which has all our assets in it. So all I'm going to do is go to file, save as, press crop, and then I'm going to go to my fake proof folder and I'm going to call this overlay.png. Press OK and you're done. Now that we have the overlay created, we're going to replace the interface in our video that we've captured with our newly created overlay. And then lastly, we're going to add an effect which increments the numbers. This creates the generation effect for a fake proof CPA video. In order to do all that, we need to open up Adobe After Effects. Now we need to go to File, Import, file again and then we want to select both of the files which are within our asset folder so we have our overlay and then we have the video that we captured press import and now you want to drag the video footage file to the timeline awesome now we're ready to drop our overlay image on top of the video file to do this drag the blue ticker to the first part of where your interface actually starts to show So you can see here, this is the first frame of the 99 gems popping up. Now we want to drag the overlay image and put it right to where we started the ticker and just align the blue tickers with each other. This will make sure that our overlay image shows right when our interface shows. Now all we need to do is drag our overlay file on top of the interface. Once it's on top of our selected interface, we want to click the magnifying glass, which is on the top toolbar, and then we want to zoom in just like we did with Photoshop. Once your screen is zoomed in kind of like mine, we need to now manipulate this overlay file to be directly on top of our interface. So in order to make sure that we can drag this around and minimize it and maximize it, we need to go to the selection tool on the top toolbar. Now that we have our selection tool, we need to simply just modify our overlay to be exactly positioned on top of the interface we've chose. Now we're ready to add some numbers on top of our overlay. To do this, make sure the overlay PNG file is selected, and then you just click the text tool, which is on the top toolbar. Now you want to click on top of the interface and then type in the number which we've began with on that selected interface. So for example, mine would be 99. Now what I said before with the fonts, we need to make sure that the font is the exact same font as our Clash Royale font. So what we need to do is go here in this font selection window and then just search the font that we've downloaded earlier. Now we want to align our numbers with the numbers which are included in the interface of the video. And in order to do this, we're going to make our overlay not visible. 
So what you need to do is just click this eye icon right by the overlay.png file and you'll start to see that the original numbers within the interface are now showing. I'm going to click the selection tool and then drag the numbers 99 on top of the old numbers. Now for this specific game, they had a stroke on their number 99. And so to best match that stroke, I'm just going to go over the stroke settings and press fill over stroke. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna put these numbers side by side with each other so I can start to modify the font size. So with this specific interface, it looks like the font size is about 21 to 22. I'm also noticing that our text is not the same color as the interface text. So what we want to do is just press the color palette and then we wanna click the eyedropper tool and then just select inside of that text and press OK. Now we're ready to align our text with the old video interface text. So we want to go to the paragraph navigation menu and then we want to select the right aligned text. And this is simply because the numbers will generate from right to left rather from left to right because that's how the points add up on the Clash Royale game. Next, we need to align our numbers with the old video interface numbers. Lastly, we need to go to our overlay and then to the left of that, click that eye icon again. Now we're ready to create the generating effect on our numbers. In order to do that, go to the effects and presets navigation menu and search for slider. You should see the slider control effect. Drag the slider control effect on top of the text layer. Now we need to modify some settings which are hidden. To unhide them, we need to click the caret icon and expand text and effects. Lastly, expand the slider control. Awesome, we're getting really close. We need to now press the lasso icon and directly hold it and drag it on top of the slider option. Now expand the source text option and you should see this series of text right here. Now we're going to adjust our text layer to show right when our overlay layer shows. This is so our text isn't showing when our interface isn't showing. So to do that, just drag this right to where this blue ticker is. Now we need to go to the slider control panel and then within this value, we need to change this zero to the number 99 or whatever number your interface started with. Now let's go back to the slider option and then click the timer icon. We're getting so close. All we need to do is drag this blue ticker to the very end of our video, but not right at the end. This is so we can show it generated and then show a few seconds of the generated number so it just doesn't flash before their eyes. Now we want to go back to the slider option and within this value field here, we want to put the number to where we want to generate fake proof to. Now when you go back to anywhere between the start and the end of your effect, you're going to notice these weird numbers and these are just decimals because this is an absolute number. So what we want to do is we want to just modify this effect right here and we just click in this value text right here and then just type in math dot round parentheses and then we're going to put another parentheses over here so make sure that this effect slider control slider is within a parentheses and the math dot round method is called so just click out of this and you'll notice that all of our decimals are gone. We can now test this by just pressing spacebar and we can see it clearly generates to our chosen number. All right guys, all the hard work's done. All we need to do now is just press file, export, add to render queue. Directly right of the output to click the not yet specified option. Navigate to the folder you want to save your fake proof video to and then name the file to whatever you want. Then click save. Lastly, all you need to do is press render. 
Once the video is rendered, you should get some feedback from Adobe After Effects, and then when you go to the folder, you'll see that it's correctly rendered and it's in a .avi file. All you have to do now is just upload it to YouTube and start collecting leads. I hope this video helped you out a lot. If you have any questions, go to wealthyhustler.com forward slash contact, and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Please have a great day and live life on your own terms.